A gunman opened fire at a security checkpoint into the Pentagon Thursday night. We're learning more this morning about who the shooter is and his motive. Martha Raddatz has the very latest from the Pentagon. And Martha, the Pentagon police chief came out right at 6 a.m. Eastern to announce the two injured security guards are going to be okay, but the shooter has died. And from all we've heard, it was just chaos when this broke out at rush hour last night. It really was, George. This building went into code red lockdown. No one could leave, but it came at the time of night when thousands of Pentagon employees were trying to leave the building at one of the Pentagon's main entrances. The suspect, 36-year-old John Patrick Bedell, dressed in a suit, walked calmly up to two Pentagon police officers just outside the entrance of the building, pulled out a semi-automatic handgun, and open fire. Shots were fired between both. Both of our officers sustained injuries. They were minor, non-life-threatening. Non the suspect was struck in the head. Uh, his injuries were a lot more severe. The firefight lasted about a minute with a significant number of rounds fired. One of the officers was shot in the thigh, the other in the shoulder. Both were wearing bulletproof vests. Police say Bedell was armed with two handguns and loads of extra ammunition. Police say Bedell drove here from California, stopping several times on the way. Last night, he parked his car in a nearby garage and walked to the Pentagon. Police say they are not certain of a motive, but say he had issues with the law in the past and are now looking at internet postings. A John Patrick Bedell wrote and recorded audio about his anger towards the government and the military. The moral values of individuals and communities are increasingly attacked by a political system where deceit is routine and accepted and the only standard is power. There is a surveillance video of the shooting, but George, the police say that will probably not be released for some time. And Martha, the police don't want to speculate on the motive just yet, but we are learning an awful lot more about Bedell and what might have been driving him. Uh, yes, those, those government postings and ranting against the government. Also, he apparently had a marijuana charge from years ago and was talking about that in terms of government intervention. But Martha, when you look at all of this, when you look at over the last several months, you've got the man who flies his plane into the IRS headquarters in Austin, Texas. You've got the shooting at a Las Vegas uh, courthouse. You've got the Fort Hood shootings, the Arkansas Army recruiting shootings. There really seems to be a pattern here that the government has to respond to. And they talked about that this morning here, George. The Pentagon police talked about it. I know the FBI is looking into this as well. There is a pattern. There is an increase. Although this is the first time something like this has really happened at the Pentagon. But they responded well. They're very pleased with their response. But you've got to look at all of these missions. They have been suicide missions. This man last night did not have a chance. You cannot open fire at the Pentagon and not expect to be killed. Same thing with the Fort Hood shooting and of course a man flew his plane into the IRS and he died as well. So these are suicide missions and they're almost impossible to stop, but they really are doing everything they can to try and stop them.